friends, I'm Joe Karleski, the Super Brave Teacher, and I want to talk to you about what's been affecting my optimism lately. Before I get to that, hop on the elevator with me. Here's my elevator speech. I'm Joe Karleski, the Super Brave Teacher. Every time you watch these videos, every time you watch any video of an LGBTQ plus teacher or student or any folk out there, you are sending a powerful message to Google and YouTube that it is time to bring visibility and voice to all LGBTQ plus people like me. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Okay, we can get off the elevator. Well, friends, it's time to talk about my optimism. As I chew my last Hello Sunshine Vitamin D3 gummy. Yes, I am filming this video on a snow day. Yay me, I get a snow day. And it is April. Friends, it's time to get real. It's getting to me. This weather is getting to me. It's been getting to me and normally I'm like, October, a little cold early, but we got this. November, okay, keep pushing through. We even did a little trip to California in November. December, okay, it's pretty cold. Got a snow day in there. January, same thing, got a snow day in there. February, March comes around, my birthday month, and it's starting to warm up a little bit. I'm like, spring is in the air. Do you smell that? And then all of a sudden, April comes, and once again, we just keep getting hit in Minnesota with these really cold days. And it's just one of those things where, I'm sure you get it, where like if you miss one thing of your day, like it affects another thing, which affects another thing. Like if you don't eat well, then you don't wanna work out. If you don't work out, then you don't sleep well. If you don't sleep well, then you don't wanna, and it just continues and continues. And it's almost like with this weather, everything is just affected. So it's like, okay, now we have all this snow and cold weather. So I gotta pack accordingly. And I'm supporting my husband and helping him back accordingly. And then I get to school and I'm helping 23 kids with their executive functioning skills as I'm trying to keep my executive functioning skills like sharp as a whistle. And it just continues and continues and continues. But I'm also one of those people who's like, you know what? For a time, that's fine. I'm just gonna slow things down. I'm gonna shift things. I'm not gonna have super high expectations. I'm just gonna like, Bring them down just a little bit in winter because that's realistic. And it's now April and I'm just in that stage of like, I want to do spring things. I want to do spring things. I want to clean out the house. I want to take the plastic off the windows. I want to go on long, long, long walks with my husband. I want to be in the sun and like enjoy the sun. Not like, you know, the 15 seconds before you get in the car and you're like, I need some vitamin D, please be enough. And I think I'm making this video so that you also know that even optimists like me, even that positive person in your life who won't stop being positive, even me, I have my down days. I have a lot of down days. And I want and need to acknowledge those things so that people who aren't eternally optimistic or positive like this guy, know that so that they realize too, like, A, you're not alone, and B, I also need support. So that's something I'm working on a lot too these past years is just saying like, I need help too. So, you know, I could tell you all the list of things that I'm doing to get support and ask for help, but it's really just the little things. Not trying to be a superhero, not trying to be that super Joel who can do everything, just saying, you know what, kids? Find a partner. That per partner is gonna help you with your jacket. This guy, only if you really need help, is gonna help you out. Or to say, you know what, I can do this, but I can't do that. And I'm okay with that, because if I'm gonna make it through this April, which apparently is like blizzard month in Minnesota, I need to take care of myself too. So I encourage you to do the same thing. I encourage you to dive into whatever emotions you're feeling. I encourage you to urge surf, I encourage you to ride the wave, take care of yourself, be extra healthy, do whatever you need to do because, like I said, it's hard. It's hard. So, maybe I'll go out right now and get some more goodness, get some more vitamin D, but I just wanna say thanks for being you. You are awesome, you are lovely, you are respected, you are valued, you are appreciated, you are honored just for being you. So keep being that person. And Joel, it's hard right now. It's hard with 
with that. That's the plastic on the window. Uh, okay, friends. Take care of yourself. Take care of yourself, Joe. Bye.